We here at Morales provide the ultimate Web3 development platform, and as the Web3 world is moving so fast, there are new concepts and practices that emerge almost on a daily basis. Thus, whether you're building on Web3 or just adamantly using different decentralized applications, it is of utmost importance to keep up to date and educate oneself on the direction Web3 is moving in. In this video, we will go over a concept that has become extremely prominent in the space, governance tokens. As the name itself suggests, governance tokens are tokens that provide governance rights in a certain protocol, game, DAO, or DeFi solution that has distributed these tokens. But what does this mean in practice? In traditional centralized corporations, organizations, and governments, decision-making is usually bestowed on a single leader or a small group of board members. This gives them the power to set rules, regulations, decide on the future direction of the organization, and so on and so forth. Now this, unfortunately, leaves the individuals who may be users, investors, or just have a strong belief or ideas for the future of the project to be struck off from the whole conversation regarding its governance. Interestingly, in the Web3 world, with the power of smart contracts, any individual who decides to obtain governance tokens for a protocol may now participate in this decentralized communication with other governance token holders, put forward proposals on new rules or future direction, and in turn vote for proposals put forth by others in the community. While the logistics of governance and implementing changes may vary depending on the project, the general practice is one where the project mints and sells an initial supply of these governance tokens, and the individuals or groups who choose to purchase these tokens form a decentralized autonomous organization, or in layman's terms, the governing body for the project. The funds generated from the initial tokens form the treasury. This treasury is vital, as it is what allows for the funding for any proposals reaching a majority consensus amongst the token holders. These treasuries can later grow in value even further through events such as staking and transaction fees. For example, currently Uniswap, one of the largest decentralized exchanges, has a liquid treasury of nearly $2 billion. Next, you may be wondering what the decisions that these decentralized autonomous organizations make may look like. The fact is that there are as many unique proposals as there are token holders, but some general examples could be a cryptocurrency ecosystem may vote on technological advancements that improve security or reduce emissions, DeFi protocols could decide upon changes to interest-bearing tools. Games may introduce possibilities for upgrades in game mechanics. Or a DAO focused on NFT purchases could simply suggest investment into a marketing stunt. Finally, let's delve into the question of how much power does a governance token holder actually possess? In the most simple scenarios, one governance token will equal one vote. Although this procedure is simple and straightforward, it will cause the project to be vulnerable to investors with large purses taking advantage of their substantial voting power and steering the project into their desired direction, much like in a centralized governance model. Fortunately, newer projects launching governance tokens have taken this into account when creating their smart contracts and have been able to implement solutions where rather than favoring the number of tokens held, they favor the time a certain wallet has held their governance tokens. In effect, this incentivizes early adopters who believe in the project and have been along for decision-making processes for the longest. To conclude, investing in governance tokens not only implies that one believes a Web3 project has a bright future ahead and shows an increase in its token price, it also brings forth the opportunity of being an integral part of the decision-making that will eventually push the project to thrive in this competitive environment. I hope this brief introduction to governance tokens was of value to you. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe button. We truly do appreciate it. But now, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.